Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Joseph and this is the first episode of the Mentor Minute. It's going to be a segment where I share some stories and mentoring tips as we move forward with this topic of mentoring. It's going to be part of the Lead Forward series, a book that Susie Brooks and I will be writing coming out by Times 10 Publishing very soon. So keep your eye out for that and follow at Lead Forward 2. Um, so I'm going to be sharing some ideas around mentoring. That is the focus and topic of our book because mentoring is something that is near and dear to my heart because I think becoming an effective mentor requires more than just common sense or proximity to a new teacher. Too often, mentors are selected by seniority or proximity. And yes, it's important to have those traits, but yet I also think it's very important that the mentor serves as a teacher sounding board, as an advocate. And it doesn't have to be the teacher next door. It requires a lot of traits, time, and effort. So I want to share a quick story because the theme of the books are stories and strategies. I had a mentor um, come up to me who was a first-year mentor and asked, what is the one thing that I can remember to be a great mentor? So I thought about it for a second. And my response was, always remember to learn. And he looked at me and was like, what, what do you mean? So I said, well, learn is an acronym. First, be a listener for your mentee. Your mentee, you're, as a mentor, the first thing you'll think about doing is helping or showing or telling. But the best thing you can do to start off is to listen. The second thing, the E, is empathetic. Can you have that empathy for your new mentee? Empathy in education is the ability to view a situation from your mentee's point of view. The next thing for the A is accountability. You have to not just show up, you have to step up to be a modern mentor. R is respectful. Respectful is going to be the foundation of building that trust. And the N is being nice. This may be the first impression your mentee has in this profession. Start off with a smile, show up and be kind. And being nice will pay it forward throughout this whole relationship. So when I spoke to this new mentor, I said, remember to learn and remember those five traits and you're going to be a great mentor. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to continue to follow. Make sure to follow Lead Forward 2 on Twitter and keep your eye out for all the amazing books coming out from Times 10 Publishing. You ready? Let's go. Concentrated power